Hi, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical with another free electrical tutorial. Today we are going to do kind of a patio makeover. The original wiring was okay, but we're going to do everything up to code in conduit and we're going to add a switch and an outlet. So, starting from here, we're going to power from that outlet, which is GFI protected, and then the materials we're going to need are as such. From the original outlet, we're going to put this on, and that's going to allow us conduit access, and we're going to put a new outlet in there with a weatherproof cover. From there, we're going to come up the wall with a single gang and switch and that's going to switch the existing light okay and that is going to be switched from here with a piece of flexible conduit and then feed through and then on the end of the patio we're going to put in another weatherproof outlet from this outlet we're going to come up with a piece of conduit and mount a box here and mount that up on conduit and then we're going to come off with a piece of flex that comes in and feeds into this light. We're going to continue down with conduit and go over that header and then mount a box right about in between those two studs there. Okay, this calls for a special bend. I'm going to use my little half inch bender. I'm not going to explain a whole lot right now because it will become evident as I do this. Okay, the first section of the conduit is bent, and there's a three-way bend. Beam is on this side. So, we're going to mark that. We're using what's called a box extension, and the reason we're doing that is so that we have the ability to put in a conduit connector. You know, after you cut conduit, it always leaves a burr. And that burr has got to be removed. And here's a little trick I use. I use the unit bit and instant deburr. Center of that beam is right about here which means we're going to drill a couple of holes here to mount that. We're now going to run our final piece of conduit from here. Put a special Kung Fu Whammy bend on it. Come straight down and meet the switch box right there. 54 to back bend. Okay, all conduit is run. It's not fastened yet, but that's our point of connection, our switch box. That goes over. That's going to tee off to another light. And then it terminates just on the other side here for whatever kind of Christmas lights or anything else they decide. You open the switch box and that's how you install a weatherproof switch 
and that's how you do it. Okay, we're swapping out an old outlet for a brand new outlet. And in addition to that, we're going to install a weatherproof cover on that to bring it up to code. And that's that. You knock this out so you can plug stuff in and water cannot get in. Take this and there you have it. Okay, finished product. We have a weatherproof outlet installed with a bubble cover. It goes up and it feeds a weatherproof switch and then that comes around to a tee off this is a switched leg that goes to this light right here which works and then the live leg as I said comes from here goes all the way over over the eaves and then we have a outlet with a bubble cover, weatherproof and GFI protected under the eaves for whatever you need it for. This is John Cook with Soft Cell Electrical. Thank you for watching another quality tutorial. Stay tuned because there's more coming up. Thanks and have a great day.